What is going on, everybody? Steven Freshy on the scene here with the new Red Eyes skill, Red Eyes Reverse. And I highly believe that this deck is top tier. Um, I've beaten most meta decks, like as you guys seen. I, well, I didn't show the U Bell replay, but I had a U Bell replay. Um, I beat Gandorus, I beat BLS. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this deck has top tier potential. Um, it's crazy. The skill is pretty good. I'll read it to you guys if um, you're not exactly sure what it does. During this duel, if you have at least seven Red Eyes monsters in your deck at the beginning of the duel, and the seven Red Eyes monsters I have in my deck are one being Red Eyes, uh, Gear Free, the Red Eyes Iron Knight, that's one. Then I have Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning, that's two. Then Red Eyes Impact, three. Red Eyes Retro, four. And then the three. Um, red eyes you definitely i'm playing two advanced or two summoners art because um opening up red eyes is really important um a couple of duels in the replays i i, I misplayed because i wasn't like i wasn't aware of the skill um but let me let me let me try to elaborate on this if you activate red eyes fusion you cannot normal summon or special summon during that turn before or after so if you special summon a monster you can't activate Red Eyes Fusion. If you normal summon a monster, you can't activate Red Eyes Fusion. 
but the skill lets you set lets you normal summon slash normal set red eyes without tributing so what you could do is you can normal set it does not count as a normal summon then you could still activate red eyes fusion so what you do the ideal turn one you you open a red eyes you open um like red eyes fusion and like two tech cards so what you do is you set the red eyes and then you flip summon it and then if you control a, a vanilla uh like a, a vanilla monster on the field you don't have to send a card from your hand back to the deck to search for any red eyes spell or trap if you control a normal so that's why it's so great um if you don't open red eyes you have to return a card from your hand back into the deck so it's a minus one so if you open red eyes it's a plus one um so that's why i'm playing summoner's art because it's really good like if, if you think about it like you can consider red eyes like a book of moon because like let's say you go second um against like evil swarm nightmare this is really good to play around evil swarm nightmare because you're not special summoning you normal set it flip it with the skill then activate the skill set a red eyes fang from the deck for free activate the red eyes fang target the evil swarm nightmare yoink it then activate your red eyes fusion make your black skull dragon or whatever else you want to do attack for game um but yeah triple mst we want to get rid of the back row we really don't want to deal with it um links um are come up um you're allowed to special summon anything you want from the extra deck um but you can't like like you can't summon anything from like your graveyard that's not a red eyes monster um you can't special summon anything like besides red eyes besides the extra deck so the extra deck is, is fair game you can do whatever you want with the extra deck um but don't think you can like special summon super heavy samurais with this deck you know what i mean like you have like super heavy super heavy samurai waraji you can't special summon that only only special summon anything that's not red eyes from the extra deck um um I put Rastalager in here because it would have won me a game. I wasn't sure, like I was just testing. I put this in here because I was Link climbing, and had I had Rastalager, I would have been able to get it. I didn't have a card in hand, and I didn't have enough attack points to get over something, but I had enough for a Link 4 monster, but I just didn't have anything in hand to discard because I already discarded with service to pop. It was against BLS. I popped his Envoy, and then I made Unicorn. I didn't have anything to discard, and then I still had another monster on the field, so I could have made Rastalager and swung over the other BLS. Um, so I just have this in here. Um, you could easily spam like turn one um, If you open well enough, you can set your red eyes flip it use the skill search the trap Activate your red eyes fusion make your um, comet dragon um, If you want to make um, Warlord furious dragon that's made specifically with necro fusion um, But yeah, this is this is my list um like I said, I think this deck is top tier. Um, I, I had to I had to stop because I, I climbed from like Legend three to Legend five with this, and and I had to stop because I don't want to get King of Games yet. I'm waiting on um, the new Fire Fist skill to drop here in a couple of days before I try to get King of Games. But yeah, you guys, um, Red Eyes, try this list. Um, you'll love it. Keep in mind, I'm playing the one Tower because I want to have the option to make Black Skull Dragon on turn two um, when I'm going second because it's a good OTK enabler. Um, I was experimenting with Dark Hole, um, but I think this list um, has served me the best. It's the most consistent, and it just does what it does. And Crackdown is busted in this deck. Uh, you can just steal their monsters and then link them off, which is really good. But yeah, this is um, the new updated Red Eye scale. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Steven Freshy. If you have any questions, leave them down below as well. You can also follow me on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. I'm Steven Freshy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.